Hi, students. Today's lesson is on writing an informal letter. Informal letters are letters to people whom we know such as family members, relatives and friends. We usually write informal letters to, share news or events. Seek, give advice, congratulate, offer condolences, express gratitude, send invitation. Do remember that, the language, tone and style are informal and casual. When writing, students must follow the specific format. Let's look at the SPM paper 1 for the year 2012 on informal letter. This is the old format. I have made some changes to the content points to reflex the new format. Section A, directed writing. Your younger sister is studying overseas. You have decided to write a letter to advise her on how to spend her money wisely. Use the notes given below to write your letter. Shopping list, necessary items. Compare prices, cheaper brands. Budget, what you can afford. Buy during sales, discounts. Own cooking, cheaper. Another reason. Leisure time activities, suggest two activities. Think about cost. When writing the letter, you must remember to lay out your letter correctly, address, greeting, closing. Use all the notes given. Remember that your letter is to your younger sister. Format for the informal letter. Format 1 address, format 2 greeting, format 3 closing. Now, we go to the content points. C1 shopping list. C2 necessary items. C3 compare prices. C4 cheaper brands. C5 budget. C6 what you can afford. C7 buy during sales, discounts. C8 own cooking, cheaper. C9 another reason. C10, C11 leisure time activities, suggest two activities. C12 think about cost. Let's write. First you write the address of the sender of the letter on the left side, skip a line and write date. Remember that you need to write all the commas for the address. For the date, when you write the month, please write in full. For example February is spelt F, E, B, R, U, A, R, Y, then, skip another line, and write the salutation. Remember to write dear, then continue with the content paragraphs. For the ending format, after writing the conclusion paragraph, sign off with yours sincerely, or your sister, then, write your signature. Now, we look at the sample letter. Address of sender, 34 Jalan Utama put a comma. Tamanu Tama UK, comma. Postcode 70,000 Seremban, comma. And Negri Sembalan, full stop then date, the 7th of February 2020. Salutation is, Dear Salma. Paragraph 1, Introduction, Greet, Reason for Writing. These are a few sample sentences for the introduction. You need to greet and write the reason for sending the letter. How are you? I hope you are in the best of health. I am writing this letter to advise you on how to spend your money wisely. Hi, I hope my letter finds you in the best of health. I am happy that you have settled well in your new college in Coventry. I am writing this letter to advise you on how to spend your money wisely. Hi, I received your letter two days ago. How's life there? The reason I write this letter is to advise you on how to spend money wisely. Here are some phrases for the content points. Use connectors and linkers. Firstly, make sure. Then, your next action is. Then, furthermore, you must. You must always. You have to. It is important to. Always. You need to. Next, you should. One benefit of. Lastly, it is. Paragraph 2, C1, C2, C3, C4. C1 shopping list. C2 necessary items. C3 compare prices. C4 cheaper brands. This the first paragraph. Studying abroad is often expensive. You have to pay not only for your school fees but also for your living cost. Therefore, finance may become the biggest problem. Consequently, it could distract your mind from studying to earning money. I will try to give you some tips on spending money wisely. Firstly, you have to prepare a shopping list before you go to the shopping malls. This will ensure that you will only purchase necessary items that you need. Then, do compare prices of stuff so that you are able to choose cheaper brands. Cheaper does not mean that the product is of low quality. Paragraph 3. C5, C6, C7. C5 budget, C6 what you can afford. 
C7 buy during sales discounts. You can write the paragraph this way. Furthermore, make sure you plan a weekly or month budget. A budget allows you to create a spending plan for your money, it ensures that you will always have enough money for the things you need and can afford as well as the things that are important to you. Following a budget or spending plan will also help to ensure you save some money for a rainy day. Another advice is always buy during sales when things are on discounts. So during sales, there is a chance for you to do your shopping at your budgeted price range or even lower enabling you to save money. For the price of one product, you may get two or three additional products. Paragraph 4, C8, C9. C8 own cooking, cheaper. C9 another reason. The suggested paragraph is, you need to do your own cooking. There are so many reasons to cook. Cooking your own food is much cheaper. Obviously, when you eat at home, you do the preparation, cooking and serving of the food yourselves and therefore you do not need to pay the labor costs of cook, waiter and other restaurant staff. People who eat home-cooked meals on a regular basis tend to be healthier and consume less sugar and processed foods, which can result in higher energy levels and better mental health. You can ensure that what goes into your meals is not bad for you. Just make sure you don't cook instant noodles all the time. Paragraph 5, C10, C11, C12. C10, C11 Leisure Time Activities, suggest two activities. C12 Think about cost. Furthermore, you have to think about the cost of your leisure time activities. There is a the concept of a money-free weekend to live more frugally. So, here we go. There are many fun and free ways to spend your time on a money-free weekend. Look at your town's website as well as those of cities and towns nearby or stop by City Hall to find a list of events going on in the community, many of which are free. You'll often be surprised at how many interesting and free activities are going on right now in your area. Many towns have community sports fields where both youth and adult sports leagues and activities are regularly going on throughout the weekend. Stop by, watch a game or two, and if something intrigues you, look into joining either as a participant or as a volunteer. Maybe, you can visit a free museum or a zoo. There are many in England that open their doors for free or charge, pay what you can, admission one day a week. You can even ask whether they issue free passes upon request. Local libraries sometimes loan out museum passes for the day as well. You'll often find there are many opportunities to enjoy museums, zoos, and science centers without any cost at all. Last paragraph, closure. Express your hope and write a remark to end the letter. That is all for now. I hope you will be able to follow my advice and save some money. Do write to me as soon as possible about your experiences in saving money. I am looking forward to receiving a reply from you. Do write and let me know how you do on saving money. I am waiting patiently for your reply. Do write to me when you have time. Take care. I hope you will reply soon. Bye for now. I am looking forward to hearing from you. Format for ending. Write. Yours sincerely. Comma. And write your signature. Ta da. We have completed an informal letter. What a journey in learning to write an informal letter. Thank you for watching and good luck.